Okay. I've been getting a lot of questions about DMCA, Twitch, music industry, live streaming, all of that stuff. Me having my feet in opposite worlds in both worlds, me being an advocate for Twitch and being an ambassador of Twitch music and also being signed to Rodan Records since I was 18 years old and being a proponent and I love my label. I feel I am the Uhtred Ragnarsson slash Uhtred of Bebenberg of this situation. So I do have some general insight. Um, one of the big things is I'm seeing a lot of people talk about, well, if I ask this band or if I say this band and this band says that I'm cool to be played on their stream, does that make it okay? For people that are independent artists or bands on independent labels or bands that own their labels, yes, if they're the sole songwriting publishing owner of their stuff, they can do that. However, the structure for us, so I love when people play Trivium on their stuff. I love when people are playing Trivium and Guitar Hero and Rocksmith and doing covers of it or playing while gaming. You know, I, I was freaking out fanboying when I found out Shroud was listening to Trivium and every time he would play Trivium on Twitch, I'd be super stoked and I'd pop in there and make like a funny joke and just be really blown away by the situation. Rodner embraces Twitch. Rodner loves Twitch. You can tell by their Code Orange thing. You can tell by the stuff they do with us, the stuff they do with Mortal Kombat, that they are very forward thinking and they do love it. However, they're... There is a hierarchy with everything. Roadrunner is underneath Atlantic. Atlantic is a major record label underneath Atlantic. Atlantic is underneath WIA, Warner, Electra, Atlantic. So when you're getting up to levels of that high of major record labels, even if I were to say, go for it, and Roadrunner say, yeah, we, we support it. If the people up here said, we want our streams accounted for, and they're not being accounted for properly with a live streaming platform, then they could come downwards, and it's not the band's fault. What I'm, gonna, what I'm worried about, what I'm going to start seeing is people saying, bands are being greedy, bands are fine, I'm not going to play your I'm not gonna play your band anyway on my stream, I didn't like your band anyway. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm worried that that's what it's going to get to, and I'm worried that people are going to start saying that the music industries are evil. They're not. What needs to happen is an understanding between the two entities, between Twitch, who's underneath Amazon, and behind record labels who it could be independent, could be major, could be a situation like Roadrunner who essentially operates like an indie but is owned by a major. When a streamer, say Minecraft Milfponer 6669, when a streamer Minecraft Milfponer 6669, let's say he's the biggest streamer in the world, let's say he's playing Fortnite in front of 100,000 people six days a week, 12 hours a day, and he likes Trivium. He hits Trivium, he play, hits play and Catastrophist. Hits play. Even though there's 100,000 people and one streamer, that is being accounted for as one stream. It takes roughly, at least the last number that I heard, 1,500 spins equals one sale of one song. One sale of one song equals. And remember, music is essentially free now. Music is a thing that you don't have to pay for it. It's just there. You play it. It costs a lot of money to make it. It takes a lot of people to make those songs. But now that's the way it is. And I'm fine with that. That is the way it is. What I believe, and I can't speak for all the music industries in the world, or uh, it's definitely, I, I guess, what would at least be in the heads of the major labels is they're like, how are there 100,001 people listening in on this and we're getting one stream count? That's, that's the issue that, that the record labels are seeing is they want their streams accounted for. Now, Twitch cannot be solely responsible for paying the licensing and the royalties of every single piece of written music of all time, that's not something that they can do. And that's something that would destroy anything. Like no one, no one can, they can afford that price tag. If that price tag is what is being offered. Um, I believe there needs to be some kind of technological situation and solution, something like Amazon music and Twitch are both owned by the same parent company, the same owner, the same entity. I have since recently learned that it's not possible for, my first idea was, all right, every streamer has Amazon Music, every listener needs to have the extension of Amazon Music, they integrate together like, if you have Amazon Prime, the things integrate, they cross, they cross promote it, there's a discount or something where the streamer gets it for free, the viewers get it for like two bucks or a buck or free, and they're able to, I hit play, or Minecraft Milfponer 6669, hits play and Catastrophist, and all of a sudden, so if I'm Minecraft Milfponer, there's 943 people in here right now, and there's myself, if I were to hit play the way things are right now, it's one spin. If I were to hit play with this satellite integration thing, I was saying that it would broadcast like a radio station equaling, I just, the numbers just changed, to nine, people didn't like that name, people to, to 922 spins versus 921 or versus one. Um, broadcasting rights is an entirely different thing. So my solution would be in turn, every viewer that's in there, if they want to hear what Minecraft Milfponer 6669 is listening to while he shreds on Fortnite and box fights, 
they need to have the Amazon Music integration. They need to be following that streamer. It's extra steps, but if they want to hear what I'm listening to, the fat space bar beats that Minecraft Milponer 6669 is listening to, he hits play. Of course, it's going to be a sync delay. But basically what it does, it makes every single viewer's computer or their app hit play on the same songs. I understand. Some people are like, Matt, you don't understand tech. You don't understand coding. This is incredibly difficult and impossible. I don't believe that it's impossible because if we're able to do what we could do right now, if I'm able to practice with this many people watching me or we're able to, I'm currently recording a record. I'm recording my black metal record Mirti, with, with Ishan while he's in the Toda, Norway, and I'm here. I plug into an app. I sing in here, and he's recording it into his recording station. If we could do that, I believe that we can do things like this, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take Twitch and the record labels sitting at the table together. Now, granted, I can imagine the head of the biggest music record companies in the world are not easy to speak to, and they probably don't understand what Milf Poner is doing while he's building in front of these 100,000 people, and he's crushing it, and they don't really care to understand what it is. All they're seeing is, all right, it costs us millions of dollars to make Lil Shitsy's record in the studio, and Lil Shitsy, the price tag was $2 million to make his record, another million dollars to make his video, and Lil Shitsy's got more expenses coming up for the next couple records. Then what pays those is the streams. What pays that, because record sales are gone. People aren't buying CDs, but the spins are what accumulate into sales and we were talking the level of a billion spins on little shitsy single, that's what accumulates the money that pays for the stuff that keeps the cycle going. So that's what the record labels are looking for. Um, I can understand both sides, again, because there are a lot of friends I have in here that make their living playing covers, playing challenge songs, Guitar Hero, Rocksmith, playing to bands like us, playing to bands like... I don't know, a whole lot of leg, DS, AC, I don't know if I could say other bands thing. That's my crappy Brian Johnson impersonation band. Um, and they make a living doing that. And I don't want them charged for that. I don't want people having to pay for that. But if the stream numbers can be accounted for somehow without making Twitch be gouged of all its funds, something where Amazon Music that already has the licensing sorted for each one of us to listen to Amazon Music. If I want to listen to Amazon Music, I listen to whatever I want to listen to. And I believe there's free accounts and paid for accounts. Integrate those with Amazon Prime. Make a separate thing where a streamer has to log into OBS and Amazon Prime. People follow that on both. And if they want to hear what Minecraft Milf Poner is listening to, turn that on. Otherwise, they're just hearing the speaking in the game audio. So that's going to require some smart people. There are a lot of smart people, far smarter than I, that can figure these things out. I know you can. Um, but having two separate sources, essentially. So essentially, you're, you're, I, I guess you can't broadcast again. I hit play, it's satellite hits play for you. If we figure that out, then when Minecraft Milf Poner 669 is box fighting in Twitch Rivals, and he's listening to Lil Shitsy's new single, It's Fun to Stay at the DMCA, he hits play, it auto hits play for all those 100,000 people. We have 100,001 spins of Lil Shitsy's It's Fun to Stay at the DMCA. That solves the issue. Easier said than done, right? So I know Roadrunner wants to talk to Twitch. I'm sure Twitch wants to talk to Roadrunner. If you want me to help facilitate that, I am glad to do that. I want to see both succeed. I love Roadrunner. I love Twitch. I love all my contacts at both. I want both to do well because the music industry pays pays, clothes, and feeds my family and I, and Twitch pays, that's hard to say, pays, clothes, and feeds my family and I. Both are amazing. I've met incredible people in both. I understand both, but I do feel like there needs to be a lot more education coming about what the music industry is, is not understanding. It's not indie labels. It's not band guys like me texting our label, hey, I need you to go get some money out of these streamers who are playing my stuff. That's not what it's about. It's about creating a proper channel where music is recognized of its value. And no, I don't know if they're doing this, but if major labels are saying we want $10 trillion Twitch, pay us, that's not right either. There needs to be another workaround. And I feel like the most obvious workaround without people having to spend exorbitant amount of money, exorbitant amounts of money, Amazon Music. It's right there. It's owned by the same parent company. Again, hierarchy. Me, Roadrunner, Roadrunner Atlantic, Atlantic Wea. These people don't care. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying, I mean, I'm not saying they don't care, but they don't know what this is. But people like labels like Roadrunner and Atlantic, they do understand. But the people up top, they're just seeing numbers being different. 
and there are bills to pay. There are a lot of amazing people that work at record labels. It's not just, I've had people ask me, why don't you just do your stuff yourself? It's because we've got a team that we're all working towards the common goal of making this band get in front of as many amazing people as possible, which would not be possible if I were self-managing, self-doing all that stuff, owning my own publishing. Some bands can do that very, very well, and they succeed at that. But we came out in a different era. We came around when MySpace was just starting off. We came around when it is about a partnership with your label. They help you. Our label helped us buy our van that we toured in. Um, when we did all this record and the amazing videos, they pay for the music videos. They pay for the studio time. Things like that. And that has to be accounted for some way. The music doesn't appear out of nowhere. It cannot be. It's, sure, crowdfunding, I've, I've heard that mentioned as a thing. That's possible. But eventually... Eventually, it drops off because you can't crowdfund every single thing. It's, it's difficult. It's a difficult process. I mean every single thing. If an independent music artist, let's say I was an independent music artist, unsigned guy, I write this awesome song on here. It's, it's copyright free. I don't have a label. So we're talking about labels as being good and bad. What a label does help you with, if I were to make a song on here and someone were to lift it and I was an independent artist, they go get signed, make millions and millions of dollars and go get signed a little shitsy's label, the G-bag records or whatever. I don't, I don't know what that is. I was going to say teabag records, but then I didn't. But then I did anyway. So they get signed to that label. This other person that lifted the song, there is no protection for that original songwriter. They are no longer protected whatsoever. They don't, they don't have a claim to their song. It's gone. It's gone. So that's the other end of it. I want both to work. I believe that both combined could create some incredible things and be a very powerful entity with a lot of very protected streamers and protected musicians. I don't know what it is. If either music industry or Twitch industry would like me to help bring anyone to the table, I would love to. I just want to see this work. I obviously play copyright music all the time on my streams. I play all of my copyright and stuff. It does get muted. I don't mind the muted VODs, but a lot of people do get great, great promotion through clips and VODs. I recognize that. That's not something that I personally get any benefit from, but I know a lot of streamers do. But I've, I've if I could sympathize with both ends of the clips, some people have had their channels discovered through incredible clips that have maybe millions of views that have a song on it. And then labels are like, how come this thing with millions of views has one spin on it? Why isn't it a million and one spins? That's what they're seeing. And that's what people need to recognize. I want every streamer in the world to be able to play our stuff and not have to think about it. But until there's a solution in place, I still say, go for it. If you hear something, let me know. I'll do my best. Rotor will do their best. But if the people above them don't care and they just want to see their numbers fixed. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Again, they need to feed the pot that, that goes around. Same thing with Twitch. Both need these things to constantly be working in tandem. Um, I only did this because I'm getting, I remember I woke up and I had hundreds of messages on all my social media. Matt, what do you do about this DMCA thing? Matt, you said you could play Trivium. You said I could play your band. And what are you going to do about that? I want you to. Rodener wants you to be able to. But without a proper channel, the people above me, above them, above them, they can make things difficult. There needs to be a solution. I want there to be a solution. I'm happy to help either party. We should do it. Um, the same man that owns Amazon is the same man that owns Amazon Music is the same man that owns Twitch. And the same guy that probably owns Wea owns everything below that. So there's, there's got to be, there's got to be some middle ground. We've got to move towards the future. Got to make great partnerships. I don't know what it is. I don't want anyone's clips getting pulled. I don't want all this stuff. But if a band just says you can play my stuff and they're assigned to a label and the parent company who owns that label or the shareholders who own stake in that label don't like that, then there's an issue. And that's why if we solve that issue at the baseline or the fundamental architectural structure issue. Go from there. Make great things happen. I love Twitch. I love Roadrunner. I love all my streamer friends. I love all my musician friends. But in a, as a side note, it is not, res, not, not at this situation. Since I joined the music industry, people have not put value into music. Music was pirated and people said it's my right to pirate. Um, music now is free to stream. It just wants to be accounted for. People said bands don't make money off CD sales, so I'm not going to buy their CD. I'm going to pirate it anyway. And when enough people believed that, that's when bands actually stopped making money off CD sales. If everyone didn't, everyone said bands aren't making money off CD sales, I should buy more CDs, then it would go up. And if more people said me streaming through the proper channels and basically having my favorite bands on repeat equals more streams, more spins equals a sale, then they'll do better off of that. A little shitsy and the pop artists of so the people, the top labels, they are crushing it in stream numbers. They're crushing it in music. They're crushing it in monetary. We're not. 
you know, the, the next heavy bands above us, the next echelon, they are making good money off streaming. We're making okay money off streaming. But then you think about the bands and the levels below us, it's even harder for them. So that's all people want on the music end of it. On the Twitch end, Twitch just wants streamers to be able to succeed in making great communities and play music they like and share it with people. So hopefully we can solve this. I'd be happy to facilitate anything that I can. I love both. I want every streamer to be happy and to be able to do what they do. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Did I cover everything? Did I cover everything? Performance I did? All right, so everybody, I want both to work. I'm happy to facilitate anything I can. I hope this educated some a little bit. And I just want the best for both.